went to the career fair, and there was a state trooper there, which I am really good friends with now. And he gave me more information about being in criminal justice and in law enforcement, and he really got me motivated to become a police officer. So I decided to go to the office, spoke to my guidance counselor, and she told me that they have a program where you can be a cadet in Windsor and pretty much learn about being a police officer at a, at a young age. And it pretty much provides you all of the information that you need in order to pretty much be ready when you're about to take the test or get into college. Um, the best opportunity that I had at East Cambridge High School was I got to take a Yukon ECE course for music theory. So basically I got to take a college course in high school as a sophomore and I basically got college credit for it. Um, I would say like the best opportunity I had here at East Granby was I was able to travel a lot so my freshman year I went on a trip to Canada and my sophomore year I went on a trip to Spain and France which was so much fun. Um, the thing about these trips is that they change every year. In France, like the first time I saw the Eiffel Tower was we went on like this Ferris wheel and you could see it like over like the, um, I don't even know where the Ferris wheel was. You could just see it over like the horizon, over like like the tree lining and it was really, really pretty. My best opportunity that I received in high school was probably um, being part of the tech crew. Um, I normally do sports and so the tech crew was different for me and I got to meet new people and like experience something different because I wasn't normally part of like the theater group and like drama in the school so it was a different look at things and it was really fun. The best opportunity that I received in East Grammy High School was definitely the athletic program we have. It might not be like the biggest or we might not go to states in every sport, but it's definitely like a really good program. Um, music has been a huge opportunity for me. Uh, the band and chorus every year get to go to the Big E and uh, that's really cool. Our Pops concert is really good. We play music that everyone knows as a different theme each year. Um, it also gives you the opportunity to try out for regional and all state festivals, which are awesome if you get to go. Uh, really cool experience. You get to meet a bunch of different people. You play more difficult music, but it's like really fun music. Um, the theater program here is also really great. Uh, I only tried it when I was a freshman and I love it. Like you never know how good you're going to be at something until you try it. By the time I graduate, I should have around 24, at least 24 credits. Basically after your junior and senior year of high school, you go to Asmentuck for a full day for a semester and a half, and that equates to the 24 credits you get after. I think the best opportunity I've gotten was the amount of classes that were offered, like AP-wise, was a significant amount of classes that were offered, and they're continuing to grow in the school. I know next year's class is going to be like, if there's going to be an AP government next year, and if I was still in East Graham High School, I would take that class. But I take a few AP classes every year just to get some college credit in there. Because if you get a three or higher on the AP exam, it counts towards college credit. So the school also offers articulated courses as well. Two of them, or two courses that I took were Algebra two and Chemistry. And you can walk away with the school with some college credit from, with, from that as well. Pretty much. If you have something that you're interested in and you don't see it advertised as much as other, as other things like, say, certain clubs, be sure to go to the guidance counselor's office because you never know, they may have it, they may not, but chances are they will find you an opportunity where you'll be able to work in the field or find some type of work that you want to, that you want to get into. In this class, you basically learn about the basics of business. You learn about the economy, how to write a professional letter, and in general, just the basics of business. Fundamentals of business is basically what the whole class is about. So it's basically a, a lot of stuff like ethics and uh, how to successfully run uh, a, a company and uh, how you should format things like a, a letter or just you know like a message to your coworker. We get an assignment we have about a week or a little more time to do it and I feel like that's really good because you 
you have your own pace to work at and if you want to research, if you find something interesting you want to look into it further, then you have the time to do that and really get to know what you are learning. Interested in like business, maybe wants to like do it when they get older, it's a good class just to like strengthen their background of like the subject. I would recommend this class to anyone who wants to go into the business world, but also not necessarily. I feel like it's just good to have th this knowledge. Everyone in their lifetime is going to have to at some point write a professional letter. Uh, if, if somebody doesn't know a lot about business, but they want to get started in it, that, that's kind of what I, I thought uh, coming into the class, and it, has, and it, it was definitely a good choice to join. Well, basically, we learned how to develop a business plan. Um, right now, we have like a fictional company, and we're learning all the aspects of how to run a company or a business. Jakey, have you ever been a part of something that you're so passionate about you just can't even sleep? Entrepreneurship class. We do learn about a lot of, uh, you know, behind the scenes in the cor corporations and business and how they run. We're also learning like how uh, if we ever introduced our company to a sharks like on Shark Tank how to persuade the sharks to invest in us. This is the key to success and I'm holding it right now because I'll be the next successful person you'll invest in. Thank you. So you really have to know what your company is about, you have to know the numbers, you have to be confident so it kind of just teaches you how to really um, present yourself. After you fail you have to come, you can't just give up, you have to come right back up and try to succeed again and once you succeed you always find a way to succeed again and make money so that's kind of what this class is, teaches you. We just the debt went through the roof and then in like 2009 it hit rock bottom there was a credit freeze and the people started freaking out they thought it would be another great depression. This class is uh, about macroeconomics obviously and uh, what we do is we go use a use an outline on Applia on the computers and we go through a textbook digitally and we go through each chapter and it kind of teaches us the basis of like economics. I would definitely say the teacher. He's probably one of the best teachers in the building and definitely my favorite so it makes it easier because like the way we connect together he makes it easier on us students. He doesn't stand up and lecture he kind of lets us learn at our own pace and kind of helps us through so we kind of learn what like as fast as we want to and we kind of just get to know everything and we learn it we don't just take a test and forget it anyone who's interested in business or want to know their way like like way around like uh, like maybe like, like uh, stock market. the stock market and uh, like the economics like people like in the government and just like way like the world kind of like works I think like they enjoy that I agree. Anyone that wants to like pursue business in college or just have a, an easy way to get intro to the stock market business. FBLA. Yeah, FBLA. Anything like that, it's a good start. We made the keyboard instrument. And you click on one of the four buttons, and it plays it like a note, like one button does that, next, and they're all little different notes, and you can kind of play a little tune. I made uh, BU, uh, which is the school my sister's uh, going to, uh, as a gift uh, for her birthday. I used uh, V-Card, and I used the, the router in the manufacturing room. I think you should uh, like be interested in like electricity, or, like computers, or just getting your hands on stuff in the shop. So yeah. Okay. So this activity is like basically just how geometry kind of relates to CAD and how we can use it in this class. We'll start to use the computers to make 3D prints. 3D printing is really cool to be able to make something out of nothing. Well, right now we're learning about different things that relate to CAD. So first we started learning about different lines on like blueprints, and then we moved on to like learn about um, different sections of blueprints, so that when we go and we actually start working in SolidWorks, we know what we're doing in terms of our planning. Um, well, anybody that finds 
really anything to do with computers interesting or engineering because you're creating your like own piece using SOLIDWORKS. So if you're interested in that, I would consider taking CAD. When we were doing code with turtles, we were just, a turtle is just a, uh, an entity that you program and it basically draws a line and we were doing drawing but with code so you would type in a specific command and then the turtle would execute that command. This is what we eventually led up into. We learned how to use a basic turtle design and then we got into more advanced coding as you can see. Just for, this is a code.org. We use this throughout the semester. Um, this is some coding that we did to make a game. Um, you get a corgi and you gotta knock this bone into this burger and that's pretty much the whole game. But just this small game, um, it needs, requires all these lines of code. Uh, 64 lines of code, which is not a lot, but it's also not a small amount either. And if we switch over to text here, you can see this is like actually, if you weren't working on a platform like this, this is pretty much what you'd be seeing. Learning how to code now could potentially help in the future. And I know there's a lot of job opportunities out there for computer science. But I think it's a class that we haven't had here before, and it's if you're just interested in computers or anything like that, it's probably good to know because it's definitely becoming a bigger thing in the world with lots of career and job opportunities. If you have interest in computer science, if you have interest in like coding a game or like developing something, this is definitely the class that you should take. The fifth year manufacturing technology program is designed to provide high school juniors and seniors with opportunities to consider career path pathways in manufacturing. Students from local high schools can participate in a series of courses in electronics, machining, and welding technologies and related subject matter. Students can earn both high school and college credit. Coursework involves both classroom and manufacturing lab settings and includes regularly scheduled exams and independent assignments. Uh, there's a bunch of different NeoPixels, like 28 times 4 plus 2 and you can individually program them. Obviously the colons are green and it's designed this way so it'll be a different color when it's break time, lunch, all that. The program offers a unique opportunity for high school junior and seniors to gain high school and college credits and establish long-term manufacturing technology competencies and an appreciation for continuous learning and improvement. I chose this pathway because it gave me skills and a career that would not be offered in high school. It gave me a chance to make a lot of money as a new graduate too. For the first year I learned the basics, how to cut things out with the torch, how to use a grinder, and an introduction to stick welding. Uh, we had tests on all the positions of stick welding. Uh, for one to two days per week we would have a class where we would learn basic blueprinting and other skills. This year I am able to try different welding techniques like Meg and Tig. We use the foot pedal down here to fluctuate how much current goes through the machine. They can control your like puddle size and it starts to puddle. In addition to being assessed on our stick welding techniques. The highlight of this year's class is the SolidWorks class. SolidWorks is a 3D design software suit where we can design blueprints, CAD, and parts, and then we create a 3D printed object. Uh, throughout my opportunity, I was able to do a different thing almost every single day. Um, ma mainly, I did SolidWorks tutorials and I looked on with other engineers who were doing more advanced drawings so I could see what those tutorials were actually going to teach me in the long run. Um, and then other times I was running through looking at schematics, picking out the errors, editing it, and adding in new things that they wanted me to. Um, for students looking into this program, you should definitely consider uh, getting a brief rundown of what the internship is. Uh, do a little bit of research on it as much as you can. When you get there, make sure you ask questions because they're there to help you and uh, 
uh, they don't expect you to know everything. You are going there to learn, so ask questions so you can learn. Two takeaways from this program that I had were, I got to see what it was like in an actual functioning company, and I got to experience a career path that I might not have if I didn't have this opportunity. The, this opportunity is perfect for students who either are unsure about their career of choice or want to see and experience other careers that they might not have considered otherwise. Okay, so accounting one students come in with the idea of learning how to take transactions, economic transactions, and organize them into information that managers can work with. You learn how to take information and put it into like ledgers and statements. Students learn how to the accounting language, learn how to work with data, learn how to work with numbers. My favorite part about the class is that you get to work on your own and at your own pace and if you do poorly on an assignment you can redo it for a better grade. Because we're offering an online summer course where students can take, they're actually in the college classroom, it's a virtual classroom, it's online, it's through as Nuntuck obviously because it's a college course, you get college credit, but the other unique thing is if you take it, you do well in it, you also get a high school credit. So it's really cool. So what we learn is we learn about the development of the child and how it affects them emotionally and the environment affects it and all the disciplines that you can use too. And well first we like learn through a book and like worksheets and stuff about um, about kids and like their development as they grow up and like what happens at each stage and then we do a preschool um, and a toddler time to like actually interact with kids. Uh, my favorite thing so far was toddler time because we actually got to interact with some of the kids and it just brought like a whole new level of learning. Um, I like actually working with the kids because it's really fun to plan every day and like to see them get excited about little things and like get kind of connected to the kids. Anyone who wants to do anything with children, whether it's pediatrics or teaching, and as an added bonus, you can earn college credit at its non-tuck for this course. Justin, have you heard about this new program? What new program? The Accelerated College Consortium at Asnuntuck Community College. Community College? Ew. Justin, totally not ew. It's 24 free college credits. Free college credit? 24 free college credits. <sighs> Do you do this with people from your high school, or is it like legit college? You do it with kids from East Grammy High School and Winter Lodge High School, so pretty much people you know. So I just attend school in the morning and then go to college in the afternoon? Pretty much. You come here, do your classes, eat lunch, and then get on a bus and go to Asuntuck. Huh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Especially with the price of college these days, yikes. <laughs> Double yikes. Well, why can't you apply? It's a two-year commitment for incoming juniors and seniors. Huh. Well, then you better get your applications in to the nearest guidance counselor. They're due March 15th. Or for more information, pick up your packet at the local office.